hold that question how can i create magic and yeah. and to bring it that bring that into to the into your day each day i mean there's a reason why you and i are talking right um mm -hmm. it, it happens to be that like we're both really aligned with who it is that we want to, to serve um and and how we choose to, to serve it there's an element of you that is all about those experiences and finding ways to help people like like be able to, mm -hmm. to trip up all over it and but but be with them that's really there you've actually expanded my mind in terms of uh like what i can do with people where i can take things here so and the other thing i see with you is that you're constantly trying new things you're constantly yeah. out there right now uh i'm curious about some of the things that you're trying right now and i'm also curious about some of like your biggest failures along along the things in terms of things that um and i know that we are both coaches here so we can reframe failures as however we want to reframe it so in whatever the way failure feels to you um, i think you know what i'm getting at here i like i want to i want to make sure we yep. talk about that and then let then let's clear some space to to create some magic some more magic in this conversation sounds wonderful yeah i um i'm pretty good friends with failure so yeah i know what you mean as a coach um and i will say just sort of as a my i have a deep deep belief that um, you can treat everything you do from a scientific perspective. I come from a scientific background. Um, and so you say, I try everything. I kind of come at it like, how can I go collect data? Um, let me go try this thing and see if it works. And okay, it doesn't work. Okay, let me go try this thing and see if it works. Okay, yeah, that worked. Let's keep going. Um, and one of the things that a lot of people get worried about is if you do that, that you're kind of detached from your heart, you're, you're detached from your emotions. And I strongly believe that you can be disappointed if something doesn't work out. You can also collect data on it. Um, the, the place where it gets dangerous is when your failure then comes to mean something about you um, or about why that thing didn't work. You know, I, I failed, I'm a failure, or that was a bad idea. Maybe it wasn't a bad idea, just for some reason didn't work. So um, yeah, I try a lot of things. So. I'm in the process of thinking through all kinds of levels of different programs I want to do with people. I've got some collaborations with, I have a current client who's starting a business and so I'm um, collaborating with her to help her launch her business into the wilderness world. She's doing wilderness experiences. So I'm creating magic in currently in the desert of Texas, but hopefully in lots of other places in the world. Um, I'm trying out different, sort of high level programs for people who might want to take a sabbatical and do some adventuring while also going really deep into that being to figure out what their next level of impact is. Um, I'm experimenting with social media because even though I do love this one on one impact, I have grander plans for impacting millions of people. So I'm playing with social media that I don't even understand, like LinkedIn right now, and very much detaching myself from any expectations of outcomes because I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, but it's great. It's great to see um, more people engaging with me, me building my community. Um, it's fun to be thinking about programs, thinking about who I want to collaborate with. I have about five different people in my head that I want to explore, like what magic we could create together for in-person events. So I'm having a lot of fun. Um, we're just getting started. Click on the link below to watch the full conversation and go to niyamashan.com slash tribe to get additional resources and exclusive invitation to tribe only events. Journey on.